The new iPad Pros are finally here, and they are beautiful. After using one of the new 12.9 inch models, here are some first impressions and a look at what's new. Overall, the hardware of this thing is miles ahead of what any other company is doing in the tablet game. It's easily the most stunning tablet you can buy from a design standpoint, and the power of the A12X chip inside is closing in on MacBook Pro speeds. But the device is still limited by iOS. However, every year the iPad inches closer and closer to being a real computer, and this year is no different. The trend of pro apps not being created for the iPad is starting to shift. In recent months, Adobe has put out some fantastic apps for iPad, like Lightroom and Premiere Rush, which, by the way, I think is the best video editing app on the iPad. Apple needs to make some more tweaks to iOS, but with more and more pro apps becoming available, it's helping the device actually live up to its pro name. But can it replace your laptop? Well, this continues to be the question everyone just has to ask. And for the everyday user, yeah, I think it can, but unless you're just in love with the design or need the larger screen, the $329 iPad is great, and you will save hundreds of dollars going with that. For more professional users, this thing is not going to replace your MacBook or iMac, but it is an awesome accessory, and there's a lot of uses you'll find for this thing. The new keyboard folio is great. I've been wanting Apple to release a keyboard that actually covers the front and back, and they finally delivered. The keys feel the same as last year's, and that's fine. I'm pretty used to the way it feels by now. Now, the Apple Pencil got some fantastic upgrades. Instead of the eyesore way we used to have to charge it, the new Pencil now connects to this magnetic inductive charging area on the side of the iPad. The connection is really strong, and <laughs> it makes the satisfying click. I think it looks a lot better this time around, too. All right, guys, that's just a first look at the new iPad Pro. Check out my full written hands-on review on appletoolbox.com if you want a bit more insight. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.